everybody, welcome back to Bravely Default. Last time, we went to see the Sage Oyana to see if we could get Anya some sexy clothes to participate in the uh, Sacred Flower Festival here in Forum in order to get Olivia's attention. <laughs> With one of the best sequences in the game, uh, we didn't actually get anything because Anya has a shred of decency um, and wouldn't wear basically like a skimpy bikini, but hey, whatever. Um, uh, and we, we got Olivia's attention. We got a letter from Olivia, and before we go see Olivia, because she gave us a location in the letter, guess what? We've got side quests to handle. Uh, so, before we actually go handle that, I did a little bit of grinding off screen, just a little bit. I wanted to get Ringo's Merchant up to a point where we could probably have him up to level 9 before, uh, before too long, for reasons you'll see. I just didn't want him to be on Merchant much longer on video because we've seen enough of that. It's I've not even really used Merchant that much besides Salesman, and I think that's it. I don't think I've used a single other Merchant skill. He's mostly just been a thief. Um, the only reason I have a Merchant in the first place is for more money from level 9. We'll get to that before the end of this episode, I'm sure. Uh, Anya's got a couple levels in Black Mage, and has uh, Black Mage level nothing better but she has a couple she's basically high level in black mage that's all she also got white mage uh white magic level four which we'll need uh eventually not really right now in fact i think i'm actually gonna switch on this over to a black mage and sub uh white mage i'm still gonna keep her on the staff because she's mostly gonna be on healing duty this is mostly so she can get black mage levels she's really not changing at all besides well her appearance i guess so that's basically it and i guess her stats a little bit but she'll be a fine healer regardless uh, Tay's got a couple levels in Freelancer as well. He has the highest Dungeon Master, as well as Miss Lead. Not that we have a uh, Miss LMA sub anyway, but we have Dungeon Master, whichever, which for whenever I can equip that will be helpful, of course. But right now, I kind of want him to have everything we have on him. I want Divining Rod, and I want Sans Immunity, so we'll just stick with those and not impose to Dungeon Master. It doesn't really matter right now. Anyway, all right, that should be everything caught up. No one else really got anything. Adia got a couple, like a level, maybe, in Spell Defensor. She got Memento. Which is that? Um, that's a lot of words. You can pause the video and read that. Um, anyway, yeah, that's that. All right. Now, with that done, let's enter Florum. I'm sorry. Are you? They were certainly in a hurry. Looks like they dropped something. Let's have a look. That isn't yours. You oughtn't... No, I oughtn't. And good thing I did. Why? What does it say? Rose to strike Northern Hideaway. Warn them to flee at once. What? Rose. The Blood Rose Legion. Let's hurry north. To the Hidden Village. So that cutscene is simply triggered whenever you enter a uh, form after the Sacred Flower Festival. Uh, you can get that cutscene to trigger the side quest. There are some side quests you could have done before this one, but I want to do this one now. So, we're doing this one now. Uh, there's two other ones we can actually do in form right now, but I'll be holding them off, because again, the way I like to structure these is story progress... As I was saying, story progress side quest, story progress side quest. Even though a lot of times it doesn't really make sense, because, like, why wouldn't Anya immediately rush to go see Olivia? I, I, I don't know. I mean, also, why wouldn't we immediately go and awaken the Wind Crystal and Anchime? Instead of, like, going to fight some thieves. It just seems like something we could probably put off until later, but, oh well. Anyway. This is the Witherwood, where we've not been instructed to go, but where the northern hideaway seems to be. Well, it's in the north, and I would assume there's a hideaway in the north to lead us to the northern hi Well, no, not to lead us. The hideaway is not going to lead us to the hideaway. Look, I don't know what I'm saying. There's a fucking northern hideaway in the northern area of the bloody world. Or Florum, not the world. Look, uh, whatever, we got Legion dudes here. Legion Archer Impaler, Mage. We've encountered all these before. Um, they're all a pain in the ass. <laughs> Every single one of them. Um, hmm. I guess I could. 
I could just kill them all with summoning magic. Um, yeah, let's use this, I guess. Well, yeah, we don't have Deus Ex, so we don't have, like, lightning magic yet anyway. So, yeah, the problem, okay, the problem with summoning magic, in my opinion, is that right now we have, um, a pretty decent stock of black magic. Also, I'm just gonna brave and attack with you. Um, we have a pretty decent stock of black magic, uh, for elements. And it takes quite a while for summoning magic to kind of catch up and be as good. I think it would be nice if Deus Ex was actually in Caldissa somewhere. So after we got through Florum, and uh, you might guess that Awaken the Wind Crystal, which eventually will be done, is going to restore the water to its good state, um, that that would allow us to go back to Caldissa on the, on the Astralot. And then we can go and get Deus Ex, uh, Lightning Magic, and those are like the basic elements. We we still need a fire though, actually. Why does he give us go to Blue Lulu? That I don't know. Summoning mag Magic is just weird. Like the the structure of it's just weird because it's not. You already have elements. Like yeah, it's more powerful, sure, but not significantly so really. And uh, it's so much more expensive compared to just using Blizzard. Also, it's a Sleep Blade. 25% uh, chance to inflict sleep, stronger than a scimitar, we're equipping it immediately. Yeah, I don't know, Summoning Magic is just... weird. <laughs> it's not a bad job, especially once you get all the summons, but... Mm. Oh, okay, so I got a Dagon here, totally not just a fucking dragon. Um, it's weak to water, as well as immune to fire, and nothing else specifically special about it. Actually, it's a fucking pain. <laughs> what do you know? Um, basically, it can use Fireball, that pierces the fence, so that's bad, you want to kill it real quick. So it's going to go and use the use of as well as uh, some Blizzards. Hopefully take it out really quick, definitely do it with this Legion, Legion Mage. Legion Mage as well really quick, because I don't really feel like dealing with any of these enemies. Oh sweet, oh, okay, I thought we woke it up immediately. Uh, I kind of wish I hadn't done this now, because we could have just left it asleep and then like poisoned it or whatever. Oh, well, whatever, it's fine. The weird, th okay, the problem I have with relying on, like, sleep for anything is that if you hit the enemy, they'll very likely wake up, and then, like, the sleep has accomplished absolutely nothing. If you, if your last attack inflicts sleep in a brave chain, then sure, that's great, that's awesome, but if it's anything else, then, you know, not that great. Um, I don't have your special, so I'd have to use ethers to give tis. You know what? You... Start using quar- well, quar is a lot too, but it's not as much as the other things. And you just do this, and we'll see how that goes. I guess what I should do is... Well, no, the problem is that Legion Mage died. You know what, whatever, just go for this. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's not- uh, it's not planning at all. Now it's asleep, now it's not, and now it's not. Okay, well, fantastic. Whatever. Hopefully you'll die, or at least his can... kill you with Quara or something. Jesus! Jesus! Okay, well, Adia lost on some stuff. Maybe if I had planned these fights like, at all, um, that'd be better. Um, I might. Uh, this is stupid. I might. Here. Give you a bit of HP. I'm actually gonna wait till the next battle to heal. Because I want to build Anis' special. Which is stupid. I should just bloody heal Adia and have everyone, really. But, you know, it's all about the risks. Aeolian bow, and I think that's our second bow we've found, so... Oh, of course! Of course the stupid thing gets first strike and kills it! Thanks! Thanks, asshole! <sighs> okay, well... Yeah, this fucking... Okay, um... Let's do this. Let's Sage Staff, because you have a raise. And we'll just go ahead and use Kira couple times, and hopefully build on is special. You have your special. We could use that, and hopefully paralyze the thing. So, oh, you fuck! Uh, okay. Well, at least you're blind and paralyzed. That's great. Um, take that out of context. Uh, okay, well, let's Phoenix down. And I don't know. We could teleport out, but I don't want to do that, because I want to build on this special. Here, try and kill the Impaler. The Dagon really won't be able to do much, because it's going to miss. Fireball is a physical attack, so it really is kind of useless now. At least, 
the impaler is far from it, but... Okay. Let's just do this again. Sage Staff. Kira. I'd like to get Anis' special. Partly so... Okay, we're good. Partly so we can just restore Tiz's MP. And partly so we can not be dying all the damn time. <laughs> In fact, that's, uh, that's actually kind of more important. Alright. Attack. Well... It won't take much to kill the Impaler. Here, just attack twice. You can continue to miss, which is good. Please kill. Okay, fantastic. Um, you know what I might do? You know what I might do? This thing is blinded. It's really not much of a threat. Oh. Well, no, I was going to just kind of sit here and wait until we got Onyx the Special to use that, but I'm just going to use it now then. Um, that's way more convenient than, than waiting around and using it. And I think the stupid thing I'm going to do is it's still blind, so I think I'm just going to poison it and then attack with you guys and then otherwise wait it out because it's not worth using magic on this enemy. It's not able to do much. Hopefully we can just kill it with the other two and not even have to use poison, but poison will definitely help just take care of this thing without much hassle at all. Is that great to put blind? No, just over the lead, over the uh, thing. Okay, we, we killed it. Oh boy, that was a fight. <laughs> Not a easy one, or not an easy one, excuse me. Anyway, I was talking about the Aeolian Bow, it's just, uh, actually it's a bow that deals wind damage? Which... Oh, okay, so these are actually new enemies as well. Uh, Killer Scorpions, they can just poison people. That's, oh, no, 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 they can't poison people. I'm thinking about the Scorpions. They actually are similar to the, um... How do I want to do this? Um, let's let's do this for now, and let me let me think about this whole thing. Um, they're similar to the the mushrooms, the myconids we saw in the miasma woods, miasma forest rather. That uh, when we hit them, they uh, they would just kind of split and create more. Except they don't do that upon being hit. It's not a counter sort of thing. It's just they, they just do that. Uh, they have a skill called pheromone that will just bring more of these dudes to battle, which is annoying but not that big of a deal. Here, you're unpoisoned. Let's try to attack you. And try and kill you. Um, and maybe the other will get hurt as well, but I'm mainly looking to just kill this one. Please. Now you're asleep again, great. Please die, I'm looking for the KO, okay. Oh, you did die, sweet, all right. Um. You've probably taken enough damage where you can do that same thing. You can just go ahead and cure yourself. And then just brave with you guys and hopefully kill. That crit's definitely going to help. And he's taking more than enough poison damage. Hopefully this should do it. If not this turn, then it'll do it next turn. The poison should do him in. Another crit. Please, Adia. At least put him to sleep with your final attack. You didn't, but he's dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, those guys are a bit of a pain. You need to kind of... Make sure that he can't keep splitting, because otherwise the battle would just go on forever, and it's a pain. Enemies that split like that are very, very annoying. A thousand pig. Not that it really matters that much. Like, how many pig do we have? 48,000. That is a lot of pig. Uh, I'm sure we'll run through it really quick whenever we get to the next town and have to buy a bunch of shit, but it's a lot for now. Okay. Had him out. Um, they do have a steel that might be worth it. They have the thumbing claws. Which I think we found in, like, um... Did we find those in Miasma Woods, or was it, like... The... No, I think it was the, um... The Grand Millworks. We found it there. Also, what the hell am I doing? I think about this. It's weak to fire. So, we should... Tiz sucks, because he doesn't have anything. Can we use items? We can use items. Go and use the bomb fragment. You can, uh... I kind of don't want to deal with this guy, so I'm just going to put them to sleep, and then attack you. Alright, um, what's I talking about? As a stomach claws. It's not great, um, also I can just hit multiple people with dual attack. Uh, it's not great, it's just kind of, they're really weak, uh, knuckles, that have a 40% chance to cause blind. It's not terrible by any means, but it's far from the best, and you probably have better, uh, better claws right now, and I don't even think they sell for that much. So, I mean, th again, they're not 
a bad item, but they're not really worth going out of your way to get uh, from this dungeon. So, also, I'm just gonna kind of continue to do it like this. Um, I don't want the catamount to live. It's, well, obviously, because we have to kill it to get. Out, well, we don't have to kill it to get out of the battle. Technically, we could run away. You, I'm just gonna default until you aren't asleep anymore. And then it will go all out. All right. All of you brave. Not all of you, just you two, the physical attackers. And we'll see if we can take them out. Oh, <laughs> that they literally had like no health left. Sweet. All right. Um, that's that then. That's the central area of that that dungeon done. Uh, well, there's no other steals for this dungeon. The weapons, uh, the alien bow. We keep trying to talk about that. I keep getting interrupted. It's a bow that does wind damage, which is all right. But um, a lot of enemies that are weak to wind damage also happen to be flying, which means they're weak to bows anyway. Mind you, it's not every single enemy is flying that is also weak to wind, but a lot of them are, and it's not really worth... The Eolian Bow isn't special for that. Well, I suppose by definition it is special for that, but it's not particularly that helpful of an add-on to the bow. Bows in general, they're not... They're not the best weapon right now. They will become a great weapon soon enough, but for now, I really, it's hard to suggest using them. They are strong, and I think Thief has pretty good proficiency in them. But I think the Thief is it, as I said uh, from Freelancer, obviously. But yeah, I don't think anything else has particularly high proficiency with bows. Either way, these Degons, man, they are tearing through me. Um, I don't really want to heal too much right now. I hate this. Okay, so. <laughs> There's, there's the adventure, which typically means end of a dungeon, right? Cool, awesome, and near the end. However, they decided... Oh, sorry, I should probably use a couple of ethers. Um, they decided that instead of, you know, putting a doorway right next to the adventure like they normally do, they would have this long stretch of land where you could potentially run into another enemy before the boss, and that would be really fun because then you, you know, spend all this time healing and making sure you're ready to go into battle. Also, we should probably make sure we're ready to go into battle. Um, not that I think we have to do too much preparing. In fact, I didn't really prepare at all before this dungeon. But, uh, you know what? This is fine. I'll, I'll do this off-screen otherwise. Except, uh, we got this, which needs to be upgraded. Just have whatever. It really doesn't matter what you have, to be honest with you. Um, I think you got a third. You didn't get a third yet. Okay, well, whatever. We're fine, then. Please, no enemies. Please, no enemies. Love to just go into the boss. Yes! Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, no, no real pep has to be done, nothing, this boss isn't weak to anything in particular, no real things we have to weaken specifically, so we should be good to just go. Good, it looks like we're in time. Is something wrong? Gather your families and run! This place will soon be attacked! What? No way! It's the truth! Now hurry! You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> this is no time to be laughing! But it's too funny! How could you fall for it so easily? What? Hurry, girls! Send word to the Valkyrie! To think so simple a snare would work on the infamous Vestal. What's become of the people of this village? You didn't... Gone, and not by my hand. This place was deserted. Though I cannot say whether the original inhabitants left alive or dead. <laughs> Agnes Oblige, Vestal of Wind. You will come with me. We won't let that happen! I'm here, yeah. Do not resist. Running is futile as well. You're perfectly surrounded. I'm here, ya! You've not been given leave to speak, Adia. Friend of yours? Why are you doing this? This isn't... I've warned you not to speak! I'm afraid I cannot keep silent. Agnes is my friend! <laughs> Yes. I've heard all about you, Adia. Traitor to your homeland. Ally to that monster. 
Alternus begged me to talk sense into you. He was beside himself. He's not. Alternus has nothing to do with this. You and I learned the sword under the same master. We shared a vision. A dream. We swore our blades to the service of Eternia and pledged to fight for her future. <laughs> Yet here you stand, a traitor. I had to. To free mankind from thraldom before the crystals. To create a new world where all can live in peace. These are the tenets of the Grand Marshal's philosophy. The same that you denied when you betrayed your homeland and spat in the face of your father. Why, Adia? I knew nothing before. I was innocent. Ignorant. But no longer. I've seen the world with my own eyes. Judged right from wrong for myself. And now I can say with all confidence, you are wrong. All of you. The Council, the Forces, the Legion. None of you are making people's lives better. You burn cities down, bleed people dry for money, one atrocity after another. You mean to deny your own father? Just like that? Yes. I don't understand what he's thinking. I can't accept it. What have you been looking at this whole time? The Vestal's illusions? I know what I've seen. I'll let no one deny it, not even you. This is my final warning. Return to your father's side, Adia. I cannot. I won't. I can never go back to the Eternian forces. <sighs> the Grand Marshal's orders were to eliminate any obstacle. Father! Your words have made this clear. You are an obstacle before me, Adia. I'll not hold back. Your treason ends now! Adia really has a point that the the people under the Grand Marshal have been doing pretty awful things. You'd think more people would start to see that. Anyway, I'm here, you're here. She's she's mainly good at hitting all party members and kind of being a pain. <laughs> Which I guess you could say that latter for every enemy at boss, that they're just good at being a pain. We're gonna fall here because I mainly want to get regen out on all party members. We're not I don't know what we're gonna be doing with Tiz here. Um, I'm honestly probably gonna switch him back over to Time Mage and Black Magic because like again, something's cool and all, but not that helpful. I'm just gonna go ahead and run a cure here. Um I guess we'll fire. Sure. Um, you. You could use a special. Um, crit rate up would be nice, I guess. Um, she doesn't really have. Well, she has a decent thing to steal, so I guess we'll go for that. And you, I guess, just go for fire and attack. Think you're All right. ready? So, otherwise, yeah, she has Crescent Moon, which can hit every party member. She has Jump. Which is kind of like a delayed attack. So if you if you think Pokemon, I guess uh, it's like um, you know <laughs> you know I know a lot of people play Pokemon and uh, they would get a Pokemon reference. However, the problem is I I don't and I don't know any moves in Pokemon that take more than one turn off the top of my head. I know there are some, but it's like one of those moves. Um, yeah, I I can't th dig. Is dig one of them? If dig is one of them, then dig. You know, I should probably make references and, and um, comparisons, rather, to games I actually play. That would mean, that would make a lot more sense. Honestly, it is just use Quora, I guess. I don't know. Don't, you don't, I don't want to be using summoning magic because it's so damn expensive. You'll, expensive? You'll only be able, be able to use it like once. Not once. <laughs> Duh. Uh, like four times, five times. Not a ton, obviously. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and use your special. Uh, physical defense, I have a nice and hit count up would be great. 
I'd love to steal from you. I already stole, what, a high potion? That's all right, I guess. Nothing great, but it's there. Wow, that did, like... She has a lot of defense, to be fair, but that did, like, no damage. Jesus. Well, that did a lot more damage. Yeah, you mainly get him going to be using uh, magic against her. Why did he use two cures? I guess we give all this, like, missing four HP. Well, wow, yeah, that's doing a lot. Nearly 900 damage. That's sweet. Um, just continue to do that, then. You continue to use fire. And I guess you guys... You continue to steal. You continue to attack. We can do pretty good damage with anything that's not, um... Not physical, obviously. I should mention as well, when we have uh, like a Dia special, it doesn't actually count as the element of her sword magic. It counts as the element of whatever the special is. It, it overwrites the sword magic, essentially. Um, and it still counts as a physical attack, which is a fire element. That's all. Uh, I should use his special. Heal again. You... I didn't steal a thing yet, so you keep stealing. It's not really vital that we steal it. I definitely like to steal it. But I think we'll have an opportunity to have a ton of time later unless we just murder her hard with this. Oh my god! <laughs> Tiz, what the fuck? Um, yeah, okay, we're gonna hold off then. Okay, there it is, Spirit Barrier. And now instead of taking uh, HP damage, she's just gonna be taking MP damage. So basically we can't really damage her so, this is going to be a great time to just try and steal from her constantly while we have our regen going and while she just wails on us with Crescent Moon. Luckily, Crescent Moon does take more than one BP to use, so she expends uh, two BP every time she uses that, so she's in a bit of a BP deficit, so she has to take a turn to get that back. So we have time to heal and all, but I'd also really love to get the item from her. Please, ring a bell. I think I still have the thing equipped on you, the Thief's Glove, but you're just really garbage at this. I don't think the uh, the idea of he just doesn't want to touch men is standing up anymore because, like, I mean, she's she's a woman. Uh, I guess use this, whatever. Um, it can't hurt. It's gonna give me more MP and more BP for Ring about, which means more chances to steal and more chances to fail. Did Ring about even use? I don't know. I thought he didn't even use steal time. Did I not have him use steal? Maybe I just I'm an idiot and missed it. Both things are very possible. Well, one thing is very possible, the fact that Medea didn't see it. The other thing is not really possible. Are you kidding me? Ring a bell! The Spirit Bear is worn off by now as well, so like that's not even <laughs> that's not even a good reason to not attack her anymore. I didn't mean to really brave like that, but I guess we're doing this. Power Bracers! Okay, good. That's what I wanted. I don't think she has anything else. I'm pretty sure? I'm pretty sure Power Bracers is it. The Power Bracers and the High Potion. That yeah, just increases your, uh, your physical attack. That's all. Nothing too amazing, but I want it anyway. I like to have all the accessories I can, in case I ever feel like I need them. So, that's why we wasted our time with that. I just want to make sure she has nothing else, because I'm paranoid about this now. Yes, they won't carry anything, so that means nothing else. Using jump again. All right, sure. Default them. She should go down fairly quick now. Or is Spirit Bay still still place? It is. Did she use it again? I should probably be paying attention to things. Whatever, let's just go all out. And, uh, we don't have a special to continue this going because I wasted so much damn time trying to steal this stupid thing. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and get ring bells, like, super quick, but I kind of doubt it. Um, he's not even doing any damage. Okay, great. Uh, we're doing less MP damage as well. It just raises... Like, you do significantly less MP damage than you would, um... Did I use all cures? Why did I do this? Oh, why? <laughs> That's like the most useless thing I could have done. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm an idiot and I'm not paying attention, but everything's fine. I guess. Alright. Now you can use fire. What well, we should have been using those four turns. You can keep attacking and you can keep attacking. Hopefully just get the spirit barrier down. It doesn't go down. I think it just goes down with time. It's not a specific amount of damage done. Or until you like drain her MP or anything. It's just time. And now it's gone to me. It is like both. I don't know, because it went down before, I believe, and she used it again. These, you know, these are reasons I should probably be paying attention to the game and what's happening. <laughs> oh, whatever, it's fine. Again, she should get out fairly quickly. So when she's using Spirit Bear, that mainly or usually means she's um, she's fairly low on health at that point, so she shouldn't have too much left in her. I'd love if we could get someone special going, either Tizz's, everyone except for Idea has a chance of getting this special. Um, because Idea is just through braving. We haven't really been braving that much right now. Well, lately. We've done, like, twice in this battle, so she may have, like, eight. 
waves instead of the attention she needs. Um, you can just attack. Actually, she probably use Kirk. She's probably going to be summoning this turn. You attack, you attack. You either jump or crescent moon, something like that. Yeah. It's kind of annoying she only has two attacks. Like, it kind of runs dry. A lot of the bosses don't really have a lot of attacks. I kind of wish there was more variety in the bosses, but I guess it makes them more predictable so you can actually have, like, a party set up for them. I don't know. It's, it's more of a blessing and a curse to be able to have a party that works specifically well for one boss. Um, because you know their patterns, you know their setups, but then also the fight itself is kind of stale after a while because like they're using the same attacks over and over again in basically the same order. Again, blessing and curse. I don't mind it that much, but I kind of wish that there was a little bit more variety in the individual bosses. Oh well, let's keep building the specials, get the some Braves, add up to her special, and hopefully start taking it uh, on here out quicker. I thought she'd be dead by now. Because you've kind of been tearing through bosses really well lately. But she is certainly holding up. You should probably start using some... Oh, well, never mind. That's that. <laughs> uh, I never mentioned it, but Ringla also did get to um, the level 9 in Merchant. So we can finally switch him off of this. Thank God. Since we get something like to go forward, we get the Valkyrie Halberd as a drop, which is just a very good lance. And of course, any asterisk gives us, well, the asterisk. This is the Valkyrie. One of my favorite jobs, personally. I don't know if I'll be using it throughout the entire game, but it's only going to be seen quite a bit. So its specialty is Soulmates. That increases your physical attack and magic attack by 25% for 5 turns when someone is killed. Uh, helpful, but not something I'd have equipped. Luckily, if you're a Valkyrie, it's just there anyway. So it's a benefit you get if someone dies, and if someone doesn't die, well, you're not losing anything, so it's not that big of a deal. If you want to lose an ability side or anything, that is. Uh, you have Crescent Moon at level 1, hits all enemies for the same damage as a normal attack, amazing for grinding, does use 1 BP to use, so it's mainly for taking out a group of enemies and not for like one enemy, um, or 2 BP to use rather, so you drain 2 BP for using it, but very good, on, uh, very good skill for grinding, love it a lot. Jump at level 2, you jump and come down the next turn, you do times 2 damage, um, with a spear specifically. Uh, no, no, you do times 2 damage no matter what, and times 3 damage every spear is equipped. So, Valkyrie is specifically made for using a spear. Um, you definitely want to have a spear equipped while using your Valkyrie, I mean, being a Valkyrie. Spear lower level 3, good for any class, because spear is like the best item for building up specials, so you kind of want to get that on as many people as possible, so they can just use spears. Um, any physical attack class, that is. Judgment level 4 does 3 times the damage of a normal attack to a target. Very good. I think he uses like 3 BP though, so you basically have to have like full uh, BP build up or just take a huge deficit. Decent for grinding if you're fighting like a single enemy. Uh, Spirit Barrier level 5, take MP damage with HP, you sell it during the fight. High jump at level 9, jump and come down the next turn, do three times 2 damage of a normal attack, or times 4.5 if a spear is equipped even better than just normal jump. Um, for no uh, higher deficit, I guess, than normal jump. Uh, Pierce Default at level 10. All attacks ignore default. That is amazing. If you can get that on everyone, then you're a powerhouse. Nothing can stand in your way. It's awesome. Um, unfortunately, it is at level 10, so it does take quite a while to get to. But it's an awesome ability if you can manage to get another one, or if you feel like grinding to get it on everyone. Sky High at level 13. You start in the air the, uh, from jump at the start of a battle. Come down the next turn. Basically, auto jump at the start of a battle. Pretty nice. Not one I like a ton, but it's there and very interesting ability. Uh, could be helpful, especially again for grinding purposes. You just do a ton of damage like immediately, basically. And again, you get super jump at level, and you also get super jump at level 14, which uh, same thing as jump, except you deal times two damage to all enemies and times three in spirit crit. So basically, the same thing as jump, but you hit every enemy. Kind of good replacement for crescent moon if you feel like wasting, not wasting, using up a turn extra. As for um. As for stat affinities and arms attitude and stuff, decent HP, uh, decent strength, decent vitality, and pretty much everything is good. They have good MP for that spirit barrier, their intelligence and mind is low, but they're not going to be using magic anyway, so that's not really a problem. Very, very good all-around class for, for just everything, except for magic stuff, which who cares. Um, arms up tier, they have great in spears, which is the most important thing. Not very good in anything else, but why would you want to use anything but a spear anyway? Spear is like the best thing. Uh, they're using in staves for some reason? That's really weird. They didn't have good minds to make around. That's kind of weird. Uh, and they can use swords, I guess, if you really want to, but I wouldn't suggest it. And, and um, an A aptitude in every bit of armor. 
this class is amazing. I love it. You're going to see me using it for a lot of the game. Uh, not all the game, but a lot of it, because it's just such a good class for physical damage, for attacking all enemies, for grinding, for everything. It's so fun. I love it so much. We're going to be putting on Ring Bell immediately. You've grown stronger. Inheria. Why do you weep? You've bested me. Be proud. I never wanted. Adia, hear me now. My final request. Meet with him, with your father, face to face. No more intermediaries. Look at him. Look at him, and you'll see it. What he seeks. I know. I will. I swear it to you. Good. That's good. Uh, sister, you've come to guide me. I suppose it's kind of people's faith in the Grand Marshal that keeps them behind him. Not so much their acceptance of what he's doing. At least that seems to be the case from the respect they sh uh, seem to show him. As I said, we're going to put Valkyrie on Ringabel. Because I'm ki kind of fucking sick of him being a merchant. Why? I guess that does more damage, but why would I want that? Oh, we've already had a Valkyrie Halberd. When did we get that? Did we buy that? I don't even remember, but we've been using that all this time. Cool. Very good for Valkyrie as well, because it does 20 damage on yeah, hitting multiple enemies. And we'll give him... I guess he wants sub thievery. I kill. I still want to steal things, so I mean, like... Sure. Go for it. Um, any other support abilities I want to give you that you've gotten? Besides more money, of course, which takes up two, actually. I forgot about that. Oh, well. I want it anyway, <laughs> so we're going with that. Um... You have Sans in here now, so you should probably have that. And, uh, I don't think there's any other things I really want to equip onto anyone. Magic arm, what is that? Right, that's actually pretty good, but I've actually been having good, uh, things from Firewall, so let's do that. Um, yeah, that seems like a decent setup. Except, Tiz, get the fuck out of Summoner, go back to Time Mage. Go back to black magic. Seriously, you were so much more helpful like this. You can actually, like, do things. <laughs> Again, summoner's great later on when you're not fighting, you know, just stock enemies all the time. And you have more MP to spare. But for now, not really great. Anyway, that's actually it. We fought on Heria, who isn't here anymore. I don't know where she went. Anyway. Uh, we fought in Hyria, got the Valkyrie Asterisk, and tomorrow, and next time, we'll go to the, uh, the ruins where Olivia's hiding out. Finally meet Agnes' one true friend. See you guys then. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of the other series I've done. You can also consider subscribing, checking out my Patreon page, or joining my Discord server. There are links in the description to those, as well as other social media links like Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching.